Crisp and clear Mega360 images are made possible with your Mega360 in a stationary spot locked position as well as controlling your chart speed. Learn how to do it in this video. For more information on my Mega360 and down imaging settings, check out my earlier videos on my YouTube channel. The Mega360 helped me discover these cribs and pipes in 13 feet of water. I never would have been able to see them as the water clarity is poor here. The down imaging shows the depth. This is my favorite close-up shot showing the crib and pipes. Here's a little closer view of the crib using mega down imaging and you can see a small fish suspended to the right. The mega 360 images are complemented by the mega down imaging showing super clear detail on the pipes and the wiring. Amazing technology. Here's a slightly different angle and perspective on the pipes. Looking closer at this pipe picture, it looks like a large pike sitting at the base of it. Here we have some fish between a set of pipes near the cribs. There are more fish located above and adjacent to the pipes. Here's a good tip for getting the clearest shots on your Mega360. Over here you can see a couple of cribs and you can clearly see the shadows definition and the shadows over here. Up to the right here you have some pipes here, some pipes here. You can see the shadowing in behind the pipes. It's a pretty cool area and I have my chart speed on one and I'm going to change my chart speed up to when I'm just running around fishing I keep it on four so I'm going to hit my menu button and I'm going to bring my speed up to four and we're just going to compare the images we're going to exit out of that and we'll let it uh, rotate around a few times and we'll see some difference in the clarity but not too much if you want the best possible picture though slow it down to one Let's take the chart speed up to six. And we'll compare. And you'll find that it's still pretty darn good. I mean, we are spot locked, which is helping. Please remember with your Mega360, you are going to get your best images while you are sitting still. That stationary position is always going to give you the best imaging, which is contrary to the side imaging where you have to be moving to get your best pictures. We are going to go back to one and as you saw four and six was pretty darn good uh, however one is going to give you the best images so let's hit our menu button let's go back to one and we will compare we'll exit out of that and this is a really cool shot of cribs and pipes and you can see some of the cribs are on a little harder bottom area it's a little whiter underneath same with over here the pipes are on a little bit harder bottom area a few tips on your mega 360 as always if you find this video helpful a like share subscribe is always appreciated the mega 360 has rings that automatically adjust depending on the range you set. I'm currently at 55 feet. So this first ring here is at 13.8 feet. So this would be 26 feet and this would be roughly 40 feet. So you know roughly how far to cast. If you take your rod and keep in mind that the Mega 360 transducer is always facing forward. It is independent of the trolling motor. If I want to cast to these cribs over here, I am going to aim it on that angle there. And if I wanted to cast, let's say, to these pipes over here, I aim it on that angle. And accordingly to wherever you want to cast, I can aim there. And you always know the direction to cast and the distance to cast, which is super helpful. It never ceases to amaze me some of the incredible detailed images that you will come across while using your Mega360. I suspect it was a catwalk or a suspending bridge. You can see fish above it in the down imaging shot. Here's a very cool picture of some kind of underwater bridge. You can see it up here on the Mega 360. You can even see it with some missing planks. And you can just see the tail end of it. And you can see underneath it with the down imaging. 
all very cool stuff. There's an isolated rock pile on the down imaging, and you can see a bunch of the isolated rock piles on the Mega 360. And it looks like we have a few fish scattered around as well. Once again, rock piles on the down imaging, and you can see the rock piles on the 360, and the 360 gives you the perspective of knowing right where they are, which is super, super important. Here is one of my favorite Mega360 shots with three big boulders off of a deep weed line. On a recent trip using side imaging, I noticed that these three big boulders are actually on a weed point. This new Mega360 image shows the three boulders from the viewpoint inside the weed bed. The rings determined by the range size will help you estimate the size of objects. The range is 55 feet and the ring distance is almost 14 feet. If you come up here and you look at this boulder, you can see it's sitting between two white rings and the boulder would be approximately 12 feet in width and about 14 feet in length. That is one huge boulder. And there's a bonus sunken boat. Thanks for watching and I hope you picked up a few tips on your Mega 360.